Today, we will talk about the Hash Time Lock Contract, HTLC. A Hash Time Lock Contract is a type of smart contract used in blockchain applications. It reduces counterparty risk by creating a time-based escrow that requires a cryptographic passphrase for unlocking. In practical terms, this means that the person receiving the funds in a transaction has to perform two actions to access the funds, enter the correct passphrase and claim payment within a specific timeframe. If they enter an incorrect passphrase or do not claim the funds within the timeframe, they lose access to the payment. A hash time lock contract uses several elements from existing cryptocurrency transactions. For example, HTLC transactions use multiple signatures consisting of a private and public key to verify and validate transactions. However, two elements distinguish HTLC from standard cryptocurrency transactions with smart contracts, the hash lock and the time contract. The first element is the hash lock. A hash lock is a hashed, or cryptographically scrambled, version of a public key generated by the person that initiated the transaction. The associated private key is then used to unlock the original hash. In HTLC, the initiating party generates a key and hashes it. The hash is stored in a pre-image, which is revealed during the final transaction. HTLCs are programmed to expire after a certain period passes or a specific number of blocks are generated, creating a known termination date and time. The second important element of HTLC is a time lock. Two different time locks are used to set time constraints on contracts generated using HTLC. The first one is check lock time verify. It uses a time base to lock and release cryptocurrency. This means that time constraints are hard-coded, and coins are released only at a specific time and date or a specific height of block size. Atomic swaps, cross-chain trading between cryptocurrencies, are often achieved using HTLCs. Additionally, Bitcoin's Lightning Network, LN, also employs HTLCs. The second one is Check Sequence Verify, CSV. It is not dependent on time, instead, it uses the number of blocks generated as a tracking measure to determine when to finalize a transaction. Suppose Alice wants to exchange her Bitcoin for Litecoin from Bob. A typical HTLC transaction between them takes place as follows. A time lock contract is a smart contract embedded in a blockchain that executes a transaction at a specific time. They are used in hash time lock contracts and payment channels where specific payment times are needed. Initially, Bitcoin's blockchain was not able to execute smart contracts. However, the Taproot upgrade in 2021 allowed the blockchain to use smart contracts in transactions. A smart contract is a program stored on a blockchain that executes when specific conditions are met. On the Ethereum blockchain, a smart contract deployment takes gas, which costs GUI. Depending on the complexity of the contract, it can cost billions of GUI to deploy a smart contract. Less complex contracts like a simple exchange are much cheaper. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A hash time lock contract, HTLC reduces counterparty risk in decentralized smart contracts by effectively creating a time-based escrow that utilizes a cryptographic passphrase. 2. This type of smart contract requires the receiver of a payment to acknowledge it within a certain period of time or forfeit it. 3. Payments using HTLCs are conditional and so have efficiency benefits for blockchain transactions. This property makes HTLCs a fundamental tool used by the Lightning Network. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.